Hello and welcome again to the video series of the Fiscal Modeler and I am Deeman Banerjee with Bentley Systems. In our last video, we learned how to insert columns into the structures and how to create the lift well. In this video, we will learn how to assign properties and supports to the model. Let's get started. So let's try to go back to the model and try to assign some properties thickness and material for the surface and material and section for the members so going to the context menu select all the surfaces go to the surface tools you can select concrete from here And then you can specify the thickness and then you can go to the catalog this is the material that you have already created and I would like to add some sections for the uh, for the columns now this is the catalog where you can select the source, the catalog, or it's a user database that you want. And then there are different types of sections which are available, the standards which are for, uh, published, and the prismatic ones that you can use uh, by your own set of data, and also the generic stuff. And another set of input fields which is based on the standard uh, catalog data. So we would like to have a prismatic one and we want to have an option solid rectangle give us 600 millimeter by 600 millimeters dimension and probably i would like to change the name so once i added the section it's available in the property window over here you can also go to the materials and see that so this is the the catalog which which the model catalog where you can use these sections which are going to appear over here in in huge numbers and you can maintain that and it stays for the saved model as well so now what we can do is go to the members select all members go to member tools and there is a section block now you can start from the very beginning from the same as catalog and you want to go for standard and you want to change any sections that you want also you can use a quick way of getting to the sections that you already have created one is this model you already have created a section 600 cross 600 and you can use that for assigning to the members and it actually appears for the members in the model view also you can add materials the same way as we did for the surfaces select 300 psi and it's okay and with time you, you might want to see that this model is getting cluttered with so much of texts you might always want to go to view once you're done click on the sections materials and the dimensions so that you have a clean model in the model view now we are done with assigning the sections and materials and at any point of time you can come to the sections and materials and you can change in the spreadsheet as well now for the surfaces as well for materials and thicknesses now you might want to go to model view select all and now you want to see the 3d rendering now this is what it appears this is what we promised that we are going to create this way now you might want to create the nodes for for the for the columns there we go And then go to the nodes, use the fixed. 
and now go to view and see the analysis model now there are no warnings because we have already assigned the sections and the materials and this is the meshed view and this is the 3d view so in this video we learned how to model a 10 story building so simply without having so much of understanding in in the new uh, dialogues new processes and also how we use the power of the spreadsheet in generating some parts of the entities that's all for now and in the next video we will see how we can assign load how we can create load groups and how we can create the analytical model going to the analytical environment we'll see you next time thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time